Welcome to Chip Sweater's Ratchet Kitchen, where I hope to prevent Generation Z from starving to death after my sister, Chef Olivia Sweaters, annihilates DoorDash and Uber Eats. Have you ever had excellent banana pudding before? If you aren't black, probably not. Like most black people, everyone knows the best part of the banana pudding is the cookie of which there can never be enough. The problem is, the cookies, much like the undergarments of the ladies watching me, always get soggy. I have a solution! Today we're going to make a no-bake strawberry banana pudding. Here's what you'll need. Mature bananas, a box of Nilla Brand wafers, two large jello vanilla pudding boxes, six cups of whole milk, strawberries, and lastly, some razzle dazzle and a whole lot of personality. Now, don't feel obligated to buy brand name. I chose the brand name vanilla wafers and pudding because my sister is a psychotic master chef who literally scared Satan out of hell so she could make carnitas with hellfire and expects me to make my own pudding and wafers from scratch. And I'm all like, bitch, what's next? Am I supposed to grow my own strawberries and bananas? Wait a minute, these bananas aren't mature enough. You're gonna wanna make sure you get mature bananas. Hey, Eric. I see you have a present for me under that skirt. It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. I don't consent to this. Your compliance is not a factor. Stop, Anicia! C can we can we not just talk? No. Anicia, no! Anicia, yes! <laughs> yeah, uh, us next, us next! No, not the conjoined banana twins! Now that the bananas are nice and mature and ripe, it's time to make the crust. When I make a pie for my guests, I usually grind the material a different way. But since it's a social media and I don't want to get canceled, thanks Obama, poke a needle-sized hole in the bag and squeeze the air out. Then start crumbling like the world economy in 2020 thanks to China letting that one bat Laszlo gave clap to loose on the world. Why would you walk home when you could turn into a bat? Bat? Next you're gonna want to boil some butter. Next, you're going to want to pour the butter uh, into the cookies and mix it well. Also, you can use this as an opportunity to crush some of the bigger chunks, the way King Trump almost crushed the capital that one time he pretended he didn't. Now, you're going to want to get some plastic wrap and form your crust. Eric, bring me the plastic wrap. The plastic wrap. What? The plastic. so nasty so I'm using aluminum foil instead of plastic wrap uh, make sure that you seal the corners well push down hard and then pop that bitch in the fridge now we are going to make our pudding uh, you're supposed to pour your milk in first to prevent the mix from sticking to the bottom but I'm using a mixer so I don't give a shit mix your milk and pudding powder in a bowl and you can use a hand mixer or a spoon but what you want to do is work it in circles and kind of like tease it for a while until, you know, the little bell in the middle begins to grow. And then you want to attack that pudding um, as hard as you can until the pudding is like I like my women. Jiggly. All done. Oh my God, that was amazing. I need a cigarette. What? You can talk? By now you should have sliced up your nanners and berries. Now you're going to want to spread your pudding in layers. Hmm, I should use a spoon. Fuck it, I ain't doing dishes. Now, I wash my hands, but I'm using a glove because I don't want to give my friends COVID-93. I chose to get COVID-93 because COVID-19 was way too young for me. Now, you're going to want to arrange your fruit in an aesthetically pleasing layer because this is more than just food. This is also art. You know what? Fuck this shit. All art is quite useless. 
And there you have it. The Miller wafers will remain as crunchy as your joints under the weight uh, that you're going to gain after eating this in one sitting. Goodbye, folks. <laughs>